Hi everybody, this is Jason Major, and I'm here with another episode of the Biblical Cinematic Universe. And I'm here to review the Chosen Season 3 premiere that air, that was in movie theaters in November 2022. So, for those who, for quick context, The Chosen is a streaming, made for streaming series uh, that's like the life of Jesus, but more through the eyes of the, the disciples and also those around him, and giving backstory to all the the characters in the Bible, and uh, sort of filling in the blanks uh, between the gospel stories that we know. Uh, and it's filmed in the United States, and uh, it was crowdfunded, and Dallas Jenkins, the son of Jerry Bean Jenkins, uh, created the series. And uh, for, for season three... They decided to premiere the first two episodes, kind of like an, almost in a movie event, in theaters, and see how it goes. And as of right now, it's going to be like one of the top box office of the week weekend for two, November two thousand twenty-two. That's great. So, what is the the season three two hour movie, as if you want to call it that? Uh, what is, what is it about? Um, without giving away spoilers for a, story, for a Bible story you probably have read, or maybe you haven't, uh, it starts off with kind of Jesus doing the Beatitudes, which are the blessed are those who are uh, blessed are this, blessed are that, and then uh, gets into the kind of those teachings, and then goes to the... Uh, the best way to describe the, the the two episode arc is kind of that between the scenes between Jesus preaching to the multitudes and then sort of setting off the disciples two by two for a season. This is when he first anoints the twelve and uh, and calls and basically comes forth and says, "These are my twelve apostles." Uh, and so it's the uh, basically it's a hidden midden chapter is the best way to describe this movie and. Uh, as that, as a hidden mini chapter, I thought it was really great. Uh, I think that even if you haven't seen it in season one and two, if you know anything, uh, just even remotely about the Bible, uh, you're going to be able to pick it up and say, okay, well, Jesus, you know, he's, the be he's kind of towards the beginning of his ministry, and this is when he first decides these are the 12 disciples. And this is kind of the backstory of them be of, of them becoming the, the, those 12 disciples. And from that point of view, it's really great because it's it has a lot of stuff that you've never seen before in a Bible movie and things to think about that you never thought of. So, for example, without giving away spoilers, Matthew being a tax collector uh, in the Bible times, tax collectors were despised by Jews, and so Matthew becoming a tax collector what meant was kind of like betraying his family and family heritage. Uh, for money, you know what I mean? And so they deal with that, the consequences of that, uh, in, instead of him just, you know, now he's a disciple, right? And um, and, uh, and there's other storylines going on with Rome that are not from the Bible, but obviously, like, part of that Roman political culture. And uh, they're, oh, they're setting up, definitely, some other storylines that will obviously take place before, later in Season 3. I would say that, my, so my brief summary would be, Yes, this is worth checking out in theater. Uh, I was very surprised at... Story-wise, it flows really well, and it doesn't feel jarring when it ends. It does feel like a complete story, at least in that sense. <coughs> and um, also, I would also say that like there's a lot of great acting moments, a lot of fun moments you'll have with this story. I encourage you to go check it out in theater, and then go and, and follow the season three later. But this will be something where you'll go, yeah, the this is the story, but told in a way that I've not seen before. And uh, if you haven't seen The Chosen, this, this is a good entry point into it as well. Um, but is it worth seeing in a theater? I'd say yes, because of the community aspect and the support there is for the movie itself. So the only you know, spoilers I would give you, or not spoilers, but like plot points I would give you is like, it is that backstory of they're getting ready to be chosen as the 12 disciples. And so getting into the, this kind of some of the, what do they have to give up in order to do that type of question is, is kind of really interesting to see that. And there is a point, and, I'll, and it is a mild spoiler, but I want you to be, go in realizing that this is not a two hour, paint by numbers 
Jesus saying everything that's in the disciple in the in the gospels and every story you you watch over the next two hours is going to be this the middle chapter of the Bible of the New Testament and then you'll be like okay well I knew all that Th- this is like I said backstory is what it comes down to so I encourage you to go see it check it out and uh, that's my review of the chosen season three uh, movie premiere thank you. <laughs>